Hello Stitchers, this is Beth at West Coast Wool. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the bullion cast on stitch with a bead. So let's get started. You can see that I've already started with a few of these cast on bullions. And so we're ready to make the next one. So you're gonna come up through the back of your work And you're going to take a bite and I'm doing this with my left hand let me switch over to the right hand I'm gonna take a bite with my right hand you all know that I'm left-handed so this is a bit awkward for me but I can do it so you're gonna take a bite and then you're gonna do your cast on you're gonna add a bead and then you're gonna do more cast on so for for this one I'm going to do eight so we're gonna cast on eight and I'm gonna grab my working thread and I'm gonna turn it. And I'm doing like a backward loop cast on. If you're a knitter, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna do it eight times. And you'll notice I'm doing it with my forefinger some people cast on with their thumb like this you can do it like that it's just awkward for me so i do it with my finger so i've got my cast on here and i'm going to pick up a bead and i'm going to do eight more to form the loop So I've got the next eight, and now I'm ready to form the stitch. So using your left thumb, you're going to pull the needle through, holding on to the stitches, and then you're going to fold the stitch over on itself, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to use my thumb to kind of push it through, and you see how the petal is just going to fold over on itself. And then we're going to pull it tight and I use my, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my left hand and I'm going to pull this working thread. And one thing I like to do is use the back of my needle and just kind of run it back and forth to kind of tame those casts on, cast on stitches so they look really nice. So as I'm shaping the petal and pu pulling on it, it forms a really pretty stitch. And then what you're going to do is you got to remember to anchor through the back of your work. And now you're ready to make the next one. So if you're left-handed, stick with me and I'll show you how to do it for lefties. Okay, so to do it left-handed, I've started a few stitches here. I'm going to work my stitches around the circle in a clockwise direction and I'm gonna take the next stitch here. So we're gonna take our needle and we're gonna take a stitch. We're going to take a bite and you're gonna leave your needle in the, in the background and now we're gonna do some cast on. So doing it right-handed, I cast on with my forefinger Doing it left-handed, I cast on with my thumb. I It's just more comfortable for me, but you can use your thumb or your forefinger. But we're gonna do the same thing, and we're going to do a cast on, a backward loop cast on. So I'm gonna put the thread around my thumb, and I'm gonna make a loop, and I'm gonna cast on. I'm gonna do this eight times. Two, three, Four, so I've got eight stitches cast on. I'm going to pick up a bead and I'm going to do another eight. Okay, I've 
got eight. Now I'm gonna use my right thumb, gonna hold that stitch in place, and I'm gonna pull the thread through. And it's, the stitch is gonna fold over on itself and I'm gonna let it go. And as I'm pulling it, 